Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Oh, Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. I am here to support all the small business. This uh, order that the governor has still in place is basically arbitrary and capricious and basically unconstitutional. We have uh, a governor who has arbitrarily decided what is an essential business and what is not an essential business, in essence calling our citizens essential or non-essential citizens. And that's wrong. We're all essential, everybody. I don't care who you are. If you're uh, a dog groomer, if you're a hairstylist, or if you are sitting at the mansion, in the mansion at the governor's mansion over in Madison, ultimately we're all essential, and we need to get back to work because basically what the government has chosen to do is flatten the curve. We flatten the curve, and now it's time to get back to work. If you take the example of South Dakota, for example, the governor there told all the business owners, you guys decide for yourself what you need to do to run your business and follow the national orders as to what is safe. And that's what they did and they stayed open. Granted, they're a little bit more spread out there, but take it, for example, Hartford, Wisconsin. If you listen to that mayor, he also said, what we need to do is give the business owners the right to go and decide what they feel is right, correct, and they're open. So we need to all open. Be safe. If you want to stay home, if you have a compromising condition, stay home. If you choose to wear a mask, even though science says that they're really ineffective, wear a mask if it makes you feel good. But ultimately, those of us that want to go out, and work, go work. And ultimately, if we take the Sweden example, the herd immunity, look at how Sweden has turned out. A little bit higher on the, the rates, but ultimately, they're fine. So I'm Ron from Richfield, and I hope that we get this all in order with the Supreme Court decision. Thank you. What do you hope that comes out of that? Well, ultimately, they basically reverse the order and everybody goes back to work. It's unconstitutional. You see that spreading across the entire country right now. Look at California, for example, Orange County. Okay, the sheriff isn't even enforcing Governor Newsom's order. And now he's reversing. He's going totally backward on everything. And this is spreading across the country because we all need our civil rights back. So did you say you're a business owner? I'm a real estate broker. I'm essential. We're still working, but you got a lot of people that don't want to meet because they may be compromised because they're seniors and so forth, but otherwise I'm essential. But I'm here supporting all the other small business owners in the community and the nation for, for that matter. Ron, could you say and spell your first and last name for me? My name is Ron Simon, R-O-N-S-I-M-O-N. Richfield, Wisconsin. What do you think? Uh, do you think that this whole thing might be sort of a ploy to make Trump look bad a little bit? What is a ploy? The shutting it down to make the economy tank to make Trump look bad for the upcoming election. Oh, uh, we could go on and on about the motivations there, are political motivations, and ultimately. Uh, there's probably some of that there. And if you can see what the Democrats and the liberals want to do is to keep it in place to push those, suppress those numbers even more. Yeah. But we're learning that the science was all wrong. We flattened the curve. We did our job. Yeah, we social distance for like, probably yeah. probably good enough. Right. Yeah. But we're good. I'm inclined to agree. And we're I, good. you know, something about this is a little weird, man. Unfortunately, I don't know. we have a governor whose IQ is zero. Nice, dude. <laughs> I like that. And I concur. I'm trying, bitch.